How's it going everybody? I'm Bearhead 2 and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Now I'm the uh, last episode theory and just shut up if I don't have anything to say you seem to actually work out pretty well so I'm going to continue doing that. Uh, I didn't speak as much as I would have liked to because I would like to have some pretty much more or less continuous dialogue but I guess you can't always win at everything. It's kind of sad. Anyway, yeah, that guy's name, um... Mario Wiki says that his name is Comet Tico, which is just Comet Luma in Japanese. Like, why wouldn't you just call it Comet Luma? I mean, I, under like, I kinda understand, like, no official language, maybe they would have localized it differently or something, but it literally just means Comet Luma in Japanese. Like, what's the difference? Whatever. Anyway, Donna Piranha speedrun. Let's we'll see if we can do better at this star than we did the first time. Or something. I uh, very much imagine that doing this star in a speedrun is pretty much the same as playing the star normally. Because there's usually never any differences in these things anyway, so... I'll take my time, get a few star bits. Uh, speaking of speedruns, uh, did you know that the 242 star speedrun for this game... I think... I've seen it at speedrun.com, and I think the top time is like... It's over 12 hours long. A 12 hour long speedrun. I mean, you know, it's for all 242 stars, but doggone it, man, that's that's a long freaking speedrun. And why did they change these things to chain chomps and... I don't know. At least it kind of moved closer to the star ship. Oh! Oh, come on. Watch me get combo here. Uh, get the coin, get the coin. I'm not gonna make it, not gonna make it. I made it. Where, where's the last one? Okay, three minutes. Oh, there it is. It's on the other side of the planet, of course. Whoa. Big hand Mario. Woo! Give him a big hand, everybody. Okay. Twelve hour speed run. Some you don't see every day. Okay. Yeah, I don't, don't want to risk um getting hit by that guy. I was gonna jump on him to get a, to get a coin, but I, knowing me, I'd probably end up hitting him and dying. So yeah. I can have a chain chop with these things, right? Yeah, of course. I think um, the files for these things were refer referred to them as uh, Punching Kinoko, or Kinokio? I think it's kin Kinoko. Um, that is actually Mushroom in Japanese, so, so Punching Mushroom. And actually, Galaxy has a few unused animations which actually have Mario punching. Like, you know, for Mario 64, that's kind of interesting. Kind of. And also has a lot of... Uh, Tennis animation, and even a sound file for being a tennis ball hitting a tennis racket. I don't know why. Testing a tennis thing? I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of funky. But yeah, Mario, Mario Punch is an early version of Galaxy. At least, we assumed it, assumed it to be. Okay, I'm actually running really low on time here, I should, I should really skedaddle. Enough farting around. <laughs> let's go. Just let's get the thing over here. Oh darn it! Look, can you get it? I don't think I got it. I need to get these crystals for this. <laughs> Actually, let's see if I can multitask. Get the crystals and defeat down the piranha. Stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. 
and 38 seconds to spare. Of course, the timer still ticks. And he bit his tongue too. Ouch, that. It's gotta hurt. And it always reminds me of a time which I was, you know, out of place and there was someone, um, like, we were, like, doing a bunch of activities there and, um, someone there fell down and ended up, like, biting their tongue and had to pull the blood on their tongue. Oh, so, yeah, there's that. Okay, you got any more uh, prankster comets? And, uh, Space Junk Galaxy, okay. The Pull Star Path Speed Run. Actually, a uh, fun fact Pull Star Path actually has an unused Cosmic Mario race. That's kind of interesting. Which is better, Cosmic Mario or Shadow Mario? Like, I like Shadow Mario more. But Cosmic Mario has a lot better visual effect. I, I really like that starry thing that he has on him. It's really cool. Speedy Comet in orbit! You know, why is this a speedy star? Like, why is it- why does Mario only get so long to go through it? Does- is it like poison gas all across the galaxy and if he doesn't, like, make it in time, he succumbs to the poisonous gas? I mean, that would make sense. A lot of coins here for some reason. I don't know if you want. Come on, get- get the- get the thing. Come on. I'll be taking that. We... I'm holding down on the control stick. Yeah, Galaxy just kind of does that every once in a while. Just... Oh, Mario's just gonna like run in circles or run in some really weird direction. Might have something to do with like the, the gravity or the camera or something, and like Mario gets stuck in a loop of just pressing the same direction, so he runs in a different direction. I don't know. Do I look like. Well, the better way to say it would be do I sound like I work at Nintendo? I mean, maybe I do, I don't know. I don't, so. Although I do have an uncle that works at Nintendo, that's, that's a joke. It's my dad instead. That's also a joke, really. Okay. Okay. Can we make it? No, darn it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, don't fall over that. No, 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 no. Oh, oh crap. Really? Really? Stuck the landing, though. That's nice. But that's probably gonna be really hard on his knees. It's gonna be feeling that tomorrow. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty close to getting it anyway. There we go. Pretty close to the end, so I should be able to get this. Now, I've noticed sometimes when going through um, these episodes and stuff that the, the, foot, the footage gets kind of choppy for some reason. I'm not, I'm not really sure why. Like sometimes when I'm recording it, it looks kind of choppy, but you know, not in those sections when it's all uh, said and done. But sometimes in after I've recorded it, some parts look choppy, and I, I'm not really sure why. But you know, whatever. More coins. I don't know why they need coins here, so it's like easier to like understand where you go, maybe. Mm. Come 
one jump. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Then do the holster over again, though. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I almost, I almost fell down. I didn't even know it. Didn't even know it until it was too late. Yikes. Okay, I thought I was gonna die there. Uh, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Yeah, that kind of got me. Ooh. I discovered another new galaxy and there's another comet? Okay. An enemy base has been spotted. We're detecting massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? Well, probably nothing very good. They're probably up for all up to no good. You know, if it wasn't for me and my meddling Lumas, it would have gotten away with it too. Okay, long jump over here. So yeah, we're in the we are deactivated part of the uh, observatory now. Not a whole lot going on. Good try. I entered the uh, the bedroom early. Doesn't do anything though. Shame. Um, there we go. Well, that happened. Hello there, Comet Luma. I like a little effect there, Cosmic Mario. Oh, come on, I'm trying to go for the speed boost by backflip instead. I could probably make it. It's pretty easy anyway, but uh. Okay, I should probably be paying closer attention. No. Now, uh, in the Star Collection cutscene, I want you to pay close attention to the bottom right as the, uh, well, now, as the iris out happens. You'll be able to see Cosmic Mario. Hey, do you see him? Did you see him down there? I'm pretty sure that's the, the same position Mario would be in if Cosmic Mario reached the star instead. So are we out of a, uh, comment now? Yeah, we are for right now. You know, oh boy, wasn't this exciting? Wasn't this just some fantastic episode? Well, gonna have to wait and wait to do more progress in the next episode. All right, goodbye.